Top 10 jobs that I did not want to do today. Number one, this. This is miserable. Well, good morning, folks. Welcome along to another edition of A Dairy Man's Diary. As always, my name is Frank, your humble host for the rest of this vlog. And today we are, well, we're continuing with the harvest um, at the moment. We have just taken our first load down. This trailer was half full from last night. Uh, and then we just topped it up this morning and we're away. So uh, that's great news. Combine is full again. And as you can see, it's parked up in the top corner there. Uh, sort of up this field. Combine is just work, well, was working away in the field there until I uh, had to leave it, obviously. But for now, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna trot on back up to the field there. Once this gets up the hill and we'll see how we're looking. Uh, but so far it's going quite well, it's lovely and dry this morning. Um, now we could go through this field here, but that's a little bit of a tight turn to get around there. So we're going to shoot up to the top here and it does allow us to show you something else that we're working on as well. Um, I say we, the contractors are working on the next stage of the house build. They've uh, begun the installation of a water tank uh, yesterday and this morning. Uh, so that's why this monstrous Volvo is parked up here. Uh, I'm just going to stick my lights on here and we're going to go out and have a quick look at it. So essentially at the moment all we've done is dug a huge big hole um, so that we can put a water, tap in, a water tank into here which is going to tap into a local spring. Uh, so that should be good news. Uh, so yeah this was cut yesterday, a nice big deep hole and they're going to come in today and put in the rest of the, well put in the, the foundation the um, base for the water tank, put the water tank in there and then backfill it all so that shouldn't take too long. But this is a monstrous JCB that they've just about, or Volvo, just about got sticking off of the road. Um, but yeah, that's a bit of a surprise. There should probably be some more cones up along here, but that's not my responsibility. Uh, and we're going to jump back into the lovely International. I figured we'd use the International today to cart because it's uh, the John Deere's on the um, tanker took a load of milk away this morning in that and the, we've been doing a little bit of bailing with the, uh, with the Valtra so that's where we are on here it's working well though uh, I have no problem with it at all so we're gonna head back on over to the field where we'll continue we're in some more wheat here today and it's coming through very nicely so we're uh, very happy with how we're progressing here uh, what well, I do need to do however uh, the combine is currently full, so we'll go and park up on the bottom side there, empty that out. And then, yeah, we'll see how it, how it goes from there. Not a particularly big field again, this is only about an 8 acre block. Uh, so we're rattling through it pretty quickly, which is nice. Uh, we have got the all bar, one field of spring barley done, which is not quite ready. Uh, so this wheat was ready a little bit uh, earlier. So it only seems right that we jump in and get this finished up. There we go. We had a little bit of an issue with the combine this morning, getting it to start up again. It just didn't want to know about firing up, but um, with a little bit of persuasion and a jump start from the international, it got going, uh, which is good because the last thing we need is it to stop now. We're on a roll really at the moment. If we get this field finished today, and uh, the one just over the hedge line there, uh, we really don't have a great deal left after that, so that'd be fantastic news. I uh, got a little bit of bailing to catch up on, um, and we hope to get to that uh, tomorrow. I would say, but there's, uh, as you can see here, we've got field. We're in 44. We've got 45 to do and 43 over the road, and then there's only a couple left after that. So we should be in fantastic place. Uh, and then we need to, our maze would be probably ready in a couple of weeks. So we can really start to progress through here, which would be awesome news uh, for the farm. Really, It'd be nice to get this all done because the weather is not looking favourable moving forward. So we'll have to wait and see. But for now, we're just going to finish up the second headland, get a third and fourth one done. And then there really won't be a great deal of this field left, to be honest. Uh, and yeah, that will be harvested in the books. But how are you all doing anyway? Hope you're all doing very well today. On what is a lovely Wednesday for me as I record this. A uh, really splendid day. Uh, I'd like to welcome along everyone who has joined Simulation for the Nations channel. Um, he has very kindly uh, agreed to host me frequently on, this, on his channel there. Uh, and I really do appreciate that, and uh, it's lovely to see everyone coming along to join in uh, the, the fun we're having over there. 
Shouldn't be too much left to do for the Headlands and then we'll get cracking, so we'll come back to you in a little while. We're really getting into the throes of the end of harvest here, not only myself but around this region. And uh, there's a real hue starting to form with the grain dryer actually, it's taking a long time to get to and fro. Uh, what I'm half tempted to do is get my second trailer up here actually, and uh, just kind of fill two up at once, just so it can kind of keep me going and get a field done with that. Uh, oh, these brakes are terrible, I'm just going to zip around. Uh, and if we do that then, because at the moment it's taken me about half an hour to get through the, the grain store. Uh, it's a lot of tractors and trailers down there waiting to go, so we might look at doing that actually. I think that could be beneficial for us. Just because, yeah, we're a small operation here and it's just, as a one-man band, it takes a while to get everything done anyway, so if we can speed it up in any way. Unfortunately, I don't have anywhere to store the grain on my yard. Uh, don't don't have that infrastructure, uh, so we'll have to look at other opportunities. Oh, and that is us full again. So we're going to get the tractor, in fact, no, we're just going to fill up, I'll fill up the international there. And then that will be us good to go again. Well, that's us full again. Another little walk across. We're going to just cut through the barley here, see how this is looking. Oh, the wheat, sorry. This is a nice, clean crop again. Very little trash in the bottom of it. Very nice and clean. Nice and thick crop as well. It's coming on very well. Really nice and thick. For a small field, it's doing excellent uh, returns for us. So, very happy with that. And we'll jump in here. I think our trail is probably around half full at the moment. But uh, we'll soon change that. Uh, we will take ourselves around the corner. And, uh, yeah, let's get this, uh, let's get this filled up. Up we go. Whoa! What was that? I've lost... I have lost drive. What has gone here? That is not looking good. Hang on a second. Looks good. I just haven't got any drive going here at all. What in the world? Um, right. I am. Um, this is not good, folks. I'm gonna have to take the trailer off here and bring on another tractor because this is just not moving. Okay, and um, we'll switch that off. I don't want to keep that running. If it, I need to figure out what's going on with that because yeah, this is no drive there at all at the moment. So we will uh, we'll go and get a, a tractor. We'll have to pull this out the way somehow. We've got a tow bar up the yard, but we'll have to bring that down and see if we can move this out the way of the trailer and get another tractor on here. See what's going on with that. Well, that is not fun. Uh, so we will walk up to the yard. We'll pick up our uh, pick up our, another tractor. We'll see if we can pull this out of the way, actually, because that's a pain, absolute pain. I need to figure out what's going on there, and uh, we'll we'll take it from there. So catch me in a little bit, and we'll see if we can get this fixed somehow. So I think we're gonna have to take the Valtra down there. We'll take the heaviest tractor we have. Uh, just have to unhook the baler first. Which is no real problem. There we go. I just have no idea what could have possibly caused that. It sounded like something kind of just broke on me in a big way inside the some aspect of the drivetrain. Maybe the the diff or the gearbox itself. I don't know. But we need to. Uh, it's still running fine. I just got absolutely no drive at all. So we need to go and have a look at that. Figure out what's going on. First thing we'll do, I think, is try and pull the tractor out the way, um, and then if we can get a somehow I hope uh, kind of fix the uh, tow that tractor back up to here and then we'll see what we can do from there but that's not ideal not ideal at all 
Right, folks. Well, that wasn't pretty, but we managed to get this kind of pushed forward a little bit uh, on the, onto an angle so we can get the Vulture into at least kind of get the tow rope on. Uh, there's no signs of anything cracking that I can see yet. We'll have to try and get it back to the yard and have a better look on a hard floor, see what we can do there. But it does sound like something pretty horrific has happened. Still can't select any gears uh, or any uh, drive, forward or reverse. So um, I'm not sure what's happened there. What we are going to try and do... Well, I've somehow limp this thing back to the yard, I think. I'm um, not quite sure how that's going to happen. But we've got to just try it. And hope for the best, really. So, I'm going to hope that this doesn't swing out and clip the edge of the trailer, because that would be very annoying. Okay, so, I've got my four wheel drive and put my diffs in. Okay, top 10 jobs that I did not want to do today. Number one, this. This is miserable. We're going to take it slowly up here. The combine can just have to wait there for a second. We need to get this back into the yard at least. Um, and then we might call out a fitter because I haven't got time to look at this today. That's for sure. I'm hoping it's nothing too severe. The one positive, or potential positive at least is that uh, you know, at least these gearbox are rel gearboxes are relatively simple by comparison uh, so we can hope for that as this is trying to throw me all over the place Slowly take yourself up there. The tractor's moving all over the place. But at least it's moving. Not under its own steam, granted, but it is moving. Thing coming, we've just got some hazard lights on here. And we will. Am I gonna get it round there? Do you know what? No, we might just go straight on for now, just to get it into the yard. Stuck again. I have to try and drag it more than anything, I think. Oof. There we go. I'm about to clip that fence post as well. Heavens, this is not easy, folks. What we might do, I think, to get around this corner, we're going to have to um, drag it over the corner there. So. I might have to just disconnect the and get a better angle onto the tow bar and then reconnect it, I think. But we'll see. See if this is willing to cooperate. Which it actually is, incredibly. Look at that. Alright, safely home. We're going to just tuck this, uh, well, we'll probably leave it in the new yard barn actually for now. Where we can then come back to it and have a look at it later get a fitter out here to have a look at it because uh, one thing's for sure I can't waste too much more time uh, trying to fix this that's for sure 
I need to figure out a way I can leave this without uh, blocking myself in. That might do it. Take off that uh, take off the tow bar. I think I still get that. Lovely. Well, with all that said, we're going to go and head back down and try and finish off some of this wheat. Um, and we will see how we get on. For now, though. I think we will leave this here. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button and uh, smash that subscribe button if you are new to Simulation for the Nation. Uh, but we will see you again later on in the week. I have been Frank, as always, uh, your humble host, and um, we will come back with an update to let you know how well how Harvest is going. But more importantly, what the what the story is with that um, international, which is going to be a bit of a pain, but. You know, life throws these things in the way. You just gotta deal with them. Uh, so until next time, though, thank you ever so much for watching. As always, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of the Dairyman's Diary, and we will see you in the next one. So until then, do stay safe, enjoy what you're doing, as always. But most importantly, happy farming. <laughs>